What's up guys? Day two of this overlanding trip in the 2024 Tundra and if you caught the last video you will know that I was solo until about midnight last night when Sam showed up in his Porsche. We're out here today and it's already about 5 30 in the afternoon so you guys didn't see any like morning camp stuff I apologize for that but we're gonna get into it today in this video and in the next video too. What do they say? If you ain't rubbing, you ain't dubbing? Yeah, dude. It's like a Volkswagen, right? I'd be dubbing. <laughs> so a quick recap of our day so far, in case anyone is interested. We packed up in the morning, we went into town, and we did a little bit more grocery shopping because Sam got in so late, so we needed to get stuff for both of us. We grabbed lunch, and then we made our way all the way out to Moab, which is where we are right now. We did some off-roading in the tundra, and I want to talk about that a little bit here but look at this camp spot. Giant hole in the wall right here. Now we are pretty far off of the beaten path right now, which is nice. I like exploring new areas every time I come to Moab, and this one right here is definitely one that I'm gonna mark on my map. We're really freestyling this entire trip. Last year we did like the high altitude, high elevation camping. We did parking on ledges at this exact time last year. And this year we were like, whatever. New vehicles, Sam built up his Porsche Cayenne. I built up the Tundra. The vehicles are still new to us, so we kind of want to figure out really what they're capable of. What do you think about the capability of the Cayenne so far? This is probably the gnarliest thing you've done so far, right? Uh, yeah, since I built it like a week ago. <laughs> uh, uh, it's good so far. I feel like I'm gonna snap a CV uh, every single rock that I touch. Knock on wood. Uh, knock on wood that that does not happen. <laughs> but uh, it's cool though, 33s. I feel like if I had any smaller tires, I'd probably be hitting a lot more on the other side. So yeah, it's a 2008 Cayenne base, so it has a VR6 uh, because I've already been through a turbo engine. So I went uh, to the most reliable engine that I could and it's also on uh, stock steel springs with a two and a half inch lift kit. It's got full KC lights, roam boxes up top and a Sherpa rack. And then um, just some bull bar, it's got stock plastic steel skid plates <laughs> and uh, 33 inch uh, Toyo RT trails. And you're sleeping inside of it. And I am sleeping inside of it like a poor. <laughs> All right, yeah, so inside the Cayenne, we have a half sleeping platform with two, two and a half, three inch memory foam pads provided by Mr. Talent's eye. Yeah. Uh, my big rumple, down blanket, sleeping bag, pillow. And then the other side, I have one seat up to carry camera gear and toiletries and whatnot. And then my 45 quart fridge that's plugged into two stock 12 volts which i think don't turn off until the battery dies <laughs> so hopefully we won't find out hopefully but we'll find out about that kind of nice if you drive every day it is very nice not to have to worry about plugging the fridge into external power and then that whole fiasco that comes along with that uh, slept in it last night i did find out that you have to make sure this thing's level or you will slide off either <laughs> way because i think of the short really short wheelbase but we're more level tonight, so I think we probably should sleep better. Dope. Thanks for the rundown. I guess I gotta set my stuff up now, and then we'll talk about how the Tundra was off-roading on the way in here. So how about that drive-in? <laughs> so this was my first 
time really like doing actual off-road stuff with the Tundra and Sam and I weren't able to like capture everything because like I said we're both getting used to these vehicles that are new to us and I'm pretty impressed with the Tundra I know it is super capable but I'm still like not as comfortable as I was in my Tacoma is that fair for you too yeah I think that's fair different wheelbase different seating position like I'm so much taller in the Tundra than I was in the Tacoma and it's a lot wider but out here that stuff doesn't really matter but I used all of the features in the truck so obviously two-wheel drive four high four low and even at one section which I don't think I grabbed on camera but I use crawl control coming up that really steep climb you guys will see that tomorrow morning in the next video. I'm used to a shorter wheelbase of the Tacoma, so I'm not used to when my back tires were hitting stuff. And it's probably the opposite for you. You're now on a shorter wheelbase, so you're kind of like a turtle. Way tippier. Way tippier, like you're three wheeling all over the place. all over the place. I wasn't three wheeling at all. Actually, how I'm parked right now, you guys can see, looks like there's a ton of room there. I just parked over this little berm here, that way I could get level with the tent and everything. It looks like the truck like flexes. But it's not like it's stock Toyota suspension. There's nothing really crazy about it. I mean, I did do the springs. I do have the Westcott spacer up front and I'm running the TRD Bilstein if you guys haven't caught the video of the whole build and everything, but it was pretty comfortable, not aired down. 37s helped a lot through a bunch of the stuff that we were going over there. Super jagged rocks and a lot of off camber stuff too. <laughs> a lot of off camber Like if I had the Kimbo in the back going through that one section, I mean, mm -hmm. I could like reach out and touch the side of the wall right here. So, so this was definitely like the gnarliest thing that I've done in the Tundra so far. The trail that we're on, I don't even know the name of it, but it is a four out of 10 and that's like a Moab rating. I always feel like the trails out here are kind of rated a little bit lower than a trail like this, say in Colorado, maybe, yeah. I don't know. Anywhere else. Anywhere else. Yeah. Moab is such a off-roading Mecca that there are really, really difficult trails out here, which those get like the eights, nines, sometimes tens. So when you're starting on a trail that's like this, which is not even comparable to those at all, they're gonna put it at a four, but it's kind of like a technical four. It's just different style of driving too because of the slick rock out here, the sandy sections, the berms, the off camber areas. But yeah, the Tundra performed pretty well. You can check out this little section that we went through right here. The only thing that I didn't really use was the rear locker. Just didn't have to use that. Uh, these Firestone tires, by the way, I told you I would give you guys my impression on them. No complaints at all whatsoever. The rock out here is really grippy as it is. So the only way you're going to lose traction is like in the Porsche when you're three wheeling a little bit and then the vehicle is going to fight for traction. But these tires, they look great. They're performing great so far. I probably have like 2,500 miles on them at this point and I'll probably get around to a full review of those in the future. So yeah, I use everything except the rear locker. Crawl control is trippy. Have you used crawl control much in your Tacoma? No, not a whole lot. I just feel like it's, the rear locker does a lot of yeah. what you need it for. If you get to something that is maybe a little bit outside of your comfort zone, crawl control basically drives for you. There was one section where I wasn't quite familiar with the wheelbase yet and I was like coming up this rock ledge. So I was like, I'm just gonna try this out, it's here. Put it on crawl control and then I pulled my feet off the pedals and I'm just holding the steering wheel and slowly but surely it just kinda crawls itself up. So it's like a cheat code. I understand why people don't like it because it really takes away from you actually driving, which is the fun part of doing anything that we're doing here, overlanding, off-roading. But it definitely helps in sticky situations, unless you're buried up to the axle in snow. <laughs> I think tomorrow we're going to, again, run out of this trail, so I'll get some more shots, kind of showing you guys how the Tundra performs over this stuff in Moab. And then we're gonna head south. We will probably do more off-roading tomorrow because we're gonna have plenty of time. We're gonna run into town, maybe get more food, maybe get breakfast or lunch or something like that. And then we will probably end up heading south even further. The thing is, we're not very far from Flagstaff, so we have a lot of time to kill, which means a lot of time for off-roading, sitting around a campfire, chilling in places like this. It's gonna be a good time. Just like that, it is 9.30 at night. It is. <laughs> and here we are. 
finally time to cook some dinner. I got my yep. kitchen set up, Sam. Got oh. an extra burner and he's in charge tonight. I am. What are we doing? Uh, we're doing some chicken bowls, poke style. So we have chicken thighs, tomato, onion, green onion, cilantro, cucumber, avocado, and jalapeno. Sounds healthy. It is very healthy. We're on a health kick out here. Thank you, to, Diamondback. Thank you, Diamondback, for the extra shelf. <laughs> and then I'll cover it in some chicken sauce, and I actually have to grab another sauce to go on the rice, and I have to grab the rice. So. Oh, yeah. so for the past couple of hours, we were just kind of sitting here around the campfire, even though it wasn't even lit, just enjoying our time out here. The weather, so good. We haven't had a camp night like this where we can be outside at night in a t-shirt in a long time. I don't even know the last time, honestly. Because we're tucked into this little pocket here, there's really no wind as of right now, knock on wood. And I think tonight is going to end up being awesome. Now here is a plus for anyone who is interested in camping and thinking about doing it the way Sam is currently doing it. No rooftop tent, just kind of staying inside the vehicle. I had my whole setup here kind of out and ready to rock for the night. And since Sam doesn't really have this stuff right now, we actually went on a little adventure and checked out some more of this trail, just like a mile or two up ahead, just to kind of get a lay of the land. and. This is a beautiful spot in Moab. I think very infrequently traveled. I mean, we haven't seen a car since we hit dirt. So it's kind of rare that you never see anyone, not even like a side-by-side -side or anything like that. So I dig this spot a lot. Look at this. You've been waiting to do this for a while, huh? That you? might have been my best work. <laughs> this, is, this is your best work right here. One bite. Yeah, you gotta get the good mix to get all the ingredients. Full experience. Mmm. Yeah? First bite. Good. Fire? Alright. Terrible. I'm leaving. Oh, you heard it here. Piece I'm fired. Light. Oh, ready whoa, whoa, who turned the sun on? Oh, that's a little better. Gotta make sure I get the most of everything. Yeah, I've been trying to eat healthier recently. I've been doing pretty good. This is right on track with that. Add HelloFresh, I'm coming for you. It reminds me of HelloFresh. <laughs> Not a sponsor. Okay. Should be. Could be. Use it all the time. My HelloFresh recipe book is extensive. Huge. <laughs> it's huge. Uh, I'm gonna give this- No uh, one has. <laughs> No one has a hello for <laughs> I'm gonna give this a 8.4. Whoa. Those are record numbers, you gotta That's, a, that's a good score. I wonder what the highest rated camp food we've had so far is. I feel like it's based on circumstance a lot though. Yeah. Like depending on how rough it's been and like cooking in the rain mm -hmm. in Colorado and I just made like jambalaya. Mm -hmm. That was almost that's a slap, dude. Yeah. That's slap. Yeah. Or when it was snowing and cold and you made those uh, fancy grilled cheese mm -hmm. panini things. Those. At almost 14,000 feet. <laughs> yeah. Given the circumstances, we could have got crazy tonight and made something elaborate, but. Mm -hmm. Yeah, might as well keep it simple. First day back. Dude. Um, in the middle of the uh, desert. <laughs> I mean, what an office. <laughs> what a great <laughs> office out here. All right, I'm going to sleep. All right, night. See you in the morning. You want to watch a movie, <laughs> actually. <laughs> All right, it's about 11.15, and I think this is a good time to call it for the night. Got everything set up in here pretty nicely now. I've been keeping some clothing over there in that little hanging basket. I've got another one right above my head, so if you're with two people, 
plenty of storage, even for that. Little pockets down below, little pockets up above. EDC gear in this pocket over here. Got my little battery, which probably won't even need to use tonight. I'm not gonna be using a heated blanket and I won't need to charge my phone because there's no reception out here. So that thing is just in airplane mode for now. We've got a few things on the agenda tomorrow, so probably gonna be waking up around seven o'clock and we're gonna wheel ourselves out of here back towards the town of Moab. So for now, I've got a movie queued up right here on my computer. Gonna watch The Goonies. And I think tonight is a window open kind of night. You can't even tell because it's so dark, but this window right here is open. <laughs> you sleeping with your windows open? <laughs> wide open <laughs> so yeah that's going to be all for this video if you guys enjoyed it i'd appreciate it if you left a like drop a comment down below let me know what you think and if you want to see some more like this then consider clicking subscribe because we got more coming pretty soon as always thank you guys for watching i'll talk to you in the next one